has always been a delicate balance between chaos and control. My name is Siegfried, and I represent Chaos. Over the past few months, we have assembled a stockpile of nuclear weapons, which we distributed to unstable dictators. Now, with that balance threatened, it's time to turn to one man. How do I know you're not control? If I were control, you'd already be dead. If you were control, you'd already be dead. Neither of us is dead, so I'm obviously not from control. That actually makes sense. Around the world, our people are under attack. Chaos has learned the identities of all of our field agents. They hit us and they hit us hard. Fortunately, we have a new agent. Who is that, sir? It's you, Max. I request the cone of silence. Oh, I'm so happy! I'm so happy! This is the best day of my life! You didn't push the button hard enough. Right. 99. I feel really good about us as partners. Yay! Wow. Impressive. I set that up. Is this your stapler? Yeah. We don't follow the rules, and what are we? We're not people who jam staples into other people's heads. That's CIA crap. Did you see anything while I was dancing? Just once, but I don't think you expected him to lift you so high. Miss it by that much. Tuesday's not going to work. Cannot do Tuesday. Mom, 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 Mom. Sean, 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 Sean. See how annoying that is. You don't happen to have like four extra pens, do you? My name's Rachel. This is my best friend, Darcy. Darcy, this is Dad. I know. We've only been talking about him for nine months. Ask Rachel out on a date. Darcy, we're just friends. Friend that asked me out. I'm gonna take off. Rage, I just want to make sure you were okay. Oh, yeah. That was the night I let true love slip away. Now, six years later, she's having her bridal moment. You okay, Dark? No, I'm fine. I want to cry on the day, so I want to check my mascaras, make sure it doesn't run. <laughs> She's so witty. Let's get one more drink. You don't have to. I want to. Now I remember why I had such a crush on you in law school. How come you never told me how you felt? I'm sorry. I was just... Oh, my God. Oh, no. It was just a big mistake. We were both really drunk. I wasn't that drunk. What? You're 30. You can't afford to be picky. Thanks, Oprah. You were obviously still so in love with me. Obviously. Oh, oh, oh. If people fell in love based on their similarities, and the two of you would be a couple. Do <laughs> you think I should marry Dex? Because I do love him. I do. I think. If the roles were reversed, Darcy wouldn't even hesitate. What do you want? I want not to want him. Is that true? Dex, have you ever gone down a road, I mean far down, and wondered maybe if it wasn't what you want? Why do you let her win? Because that's what Darcy does. Darcy wins. She always has. Rachel, you deserve to be happy. You have to help me write my vows. Darcy, no. What the? Wow. A secret for every point. Love that. Rachel, why don't you do this one? Stop. If she's not gonna tell you, I will. Oh. You broke my nose. Hey, Sean. Hey. Sean. I took your advice. It was very good advice. Sean. Sean. 
Look, I can see that you think you know me, but I don't know who you are. My name is Captain Coulter Stevens. You couldn't forgive me, have No, 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 no. Talk to me, Sean. Look, I don't know who Sean is, and I don't know who you are. Welcome back, Captain Stevens. Where am I? You are inside the source code. What is the source code? It's a computer program, Captain. Source code enables you to cross over into another man's identity in the last eight minutes of his life. At 7.48 this morning, a bomb exploded on a train outside of Chicago, killing everyone on board. A man named Sean Fentress was on that train. He is now you. Think, Captain, remember back. Who bombed the train? I don't know who bombed the train. Then try again. Wait, no. I... So, what do you think? It's the same train, but it's different. We've been informed there'll be another attack in six hours. If you find the bomber, the next attack can be prevented. Concentrate on the passengers in your car. Look for ones who seem nervous. As always, you will have eight minutes. Eight minutes, and then I blow up again. <laughs> What would you do if you knew you had less than eight minutes to live? I'd make those seconds count. I want to go back in. I'm going to save her. You can't. It doesn't work that way. Christina is dead. She doesn't have to be. You cannot alter this reality while inside the source code. I'm asking you to have the decency to let me try. <laughs> What's going on? He's in trouble. Tell me everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Nothing happened the way it was supposed to happen. We're seeing mutations. Cannibalistic hunger. Typical human behavior is now entirely absent. Robert Neville. I'm a survivor living in New York City. I haven't seen another person in three years. If there's anybody out there, anybody, please. transfer my immunity to infected hosts. I can reverse the spread. I'm not gonna let this happen. I can save you! I can save everybody! Light up the darkness. 